Next up, we'd like to invite to the stage Mr. Thomas O'Cray to give some inspiring words. Good morning, everyone. I would like to let you all know that there's a difference between grace, luck, and mercy. See, 10 years ago, I found myself on a couch in Washington, D.C., fighting for my life as I was, you know, mistakenly shot with a 12-gauge shotgun in my spinal cord. And in my right shoulder nerve system, I didn't think that I would live to see this day of standing in front of you all speaking about my story and giving you all inspiration for something that I've gone through. See, an uh, old friend of mine told me as he introduced me to the Bible that I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. But as a young kid, I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> I just believed in Superman and Batman and Spider-Man. I believed that those are the real superheroes. I didn't know that there was a God out there that was driving me, that was waking me up in the morning and that was pushing me to be great. See, I grew up, I'm a big wrestling fan. <laughs> so I grew up idolizing guys like Roddy Piper and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Those guys gave me the ability to dream big. And what I learned from those guys is, although they weren't African-Americans, they had a voice. And in those times of the late 80s and 90s, you needed a voice, you needed to fight, there was change. See, I was able to come out of the worst part of Washington, D.C. and make it. And a lot of our African-American youth can't say that. And I'm proud to stand here before you as a guy who was shot, should have lost his life, but by the grace of God, I made it. I stand to you as a kid who entered into the foster care system at 11 years old and made it out of the foster care system being adopted by my best friend and his mom when I was in the 12th grade. And we talk statistics, but statistics says that when you're a teenager, you're not supposed to be adopted. Well, I guess those laws have now been rewritten because I was adopted at the age of 17. So here I go again, and the statistics, when you say that you are now a foster child, you aren't supposed to go to college, you aren't supposed to make it out of high school, you're supposed to be incarcerated or dead, or you're supposed to be a drug dealer. But it's amazing how God could change your life around. See, I took the path of, I'm gonna live my life straight edge, so I don't drink, I don't smoke, because I choose not to do it. I choose to live my life straight edge. I choose to be a, be a motivating factor to my, to my friends, to the youth that I get a chance to cross paths with. See, I choose to let God dictate my next move. So I stand to you all as a youth who should have been paralyzed, but I have full um, operating in my body. I'm able to move. I stand to you all as a youth who defined the odds. I'm a small guy. I'm very skinny, but I do believe I have a big heart, and that's what pushes me. I stand to you all as a now senior in college who's getting ready to graduate with a BA in psychology. I am a proud member and the proud president of the Cheney University Collegiate Chapter of 100 Black Men. And what I learned over my years, I've lost a lot of friends, I've lost a lot of family, you see. But what I've learned is that everything you do is not for you. It's for those out there that's implanting seeds inside of you. See, I didn't know that when you wake up in the morning, it's not that your alarm clock woke you up, it's God that woke you up. But I didn't know that, I heard when I was a young kid that, you know, oh man, my grandma, man, my grandma pray for me all the time, that's how I'm here. But I didn't understand that. It is through someone else's prayer that I am here. See, I had this opportunity that God allowed me to now travel the world, and I've spoken on CNN, I've been featured in the Washington Post. I've spoken at the historical Ebenezer Church, but I don't do any of this for me. I do it for our youth. I do it to make sure that the legacy that all of our men and all of our women here in front of me and here before me that they made, because I want to keep their legacy going. I want to keep the dreams that Malcolm X and Dr. King, I want to keep their vision alive. And I'm proud to say that I'm a young African-American man who's doing that. So I stand here before you now as this, as this, as this youth who, who can say I made it. And in this story, you've heard 
grace and you've heard mercy, but there's no such thing as luck. I don't believe in luck because I believe that God didn't die on the cross. That wasn't like a lucky factor that he got off and he rose on the third day. I don't think that was luck. No, I, don't think, I didn't see that in the Bible. But in the Bible, what I do see is grace and mercy. And even though in my downfalls and in our downfalls and no matter what we do, isn't it amazing how God still blesses us? Yeah. And I, and I don't, I don't, you know, don't want to sound like a cliche preacher or anything, but, you know, just to look back on your life and just to see what God has allowed you to do, it's, it's an honor to be a part of this wonderful organization. And we talk about mentor, and I want to give a special shout out to a guy who, 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 who seen something in me from day one, and he's, in, he's implanted so many seeds in me, Mr. Mr. Vital, who is our collegiate advisor. And I just want to thank him for mentoring me and for taking me under his wing. He's the reason that I'm here today. He's opened up so many avenues for me, and um, he's, he opened my eyes to this beautiful organization. And uh, he's, he's the main reason I, could, I continue to keep pushing and continue to keep being this mentor and this leader that I am. So uh, a few inspiring words is that do not ever look at luck. Luck is not something that exists in the world, it is through grace and by mercy that we all have made it this far. And our youth up here on the stage, they are the next generation. We are the next generation. And we just hope to continue the legacy that you all, stand, that you all put in front of us. God bless, thank you.